Nothing fancy and alley with you again. One of my reference blades for survival and combat use is this one, the Cold Steel Trailmaster. I've spoken of it very favorably in one of my tail top, tabletop reviews and for good reason. The full flat grind, the 5 16th width and that wet wedge shape of the Trailmaster just makes it an outstanding splitter. If you reprofile it like I've done mine, making that an even more gradual relief edge, it really cuts. For the weight, a few, few knives really can match a Cold Steel Trailmaster. It remains my favorite. And yes, let's chop down another tree. This is indeed a dead tree I checked, and there's absolutely no foliage on it, and the bark is all torn up too. And we're in a remote area, so it's not going to make a difference. I wouldn't even chop down a dead tree in an area where there are lots of people because it's kind of unsightly when you're done. It just shows man's, uh, man's presence in those woods. That's why I kind of have to hike and come to remote places like this. Let's get going. The tree's leaning this way, so I'm going to notch it, and we're going to have a fall break that away. Double check for safety. Use that lanyard when you can. That way the blade won't slip out of your hands. Chopping with these knives is indeed dangerous, guys. If you slip, you cut yourself like bad. See I come up, that helps me pop the chips out of it. The tree's about 30 feet, maybe a little less, maybe 25. There you have it, Cold Steel Trailmaster, one of nothing fancy's favorite woods knives. Allie likes it too. What do you say we hike out, dog friend? Come here, let's get going. What a beautiful night.